Hi everyone, today we will connect to an Aruba switch with Patti, do some minor configuration in that switch, then we are going to generate a backup file and I will show you how to restore the switch with that file. So let's get to it. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Okay, so we have Patti and the device manager up. Let's check under ports what serial port we are going to connect with and it's COM5 so let's swap to serial COM5 and in this case 115,200 for the Aruba 6000 switch and here is a factory default switch so if we do show running config we will see that this one only has one VLAN VLAN 1 on all the interfaces and yep yeah, it's the default config switch so we are not going to configure the whole switch but just as a demo we can make a VLAN 33 name it for example 33 DHCP and we can also assign this VLAN to some interfaces so if you want to assign it to multiple you type like this 111-1110 for example and then we put VLAN access 33 so now we have interface 1 to 10 as access ports for VLAN 33 and if we again do a show running config we can see that we have one more VLAN and interface 1 to 10 are actually VLAN access port 33 all right, we don't need to do any more configuration, so we will close Patti for now. And we can open it again, so let's open Patti. But this time we will head over to logging. And there is actually a logging function here, so if we do session logging and printable output, browse the file location, that it will save the log. I will just do my desktop for now and we go to session again put serial com5 and the speed so it will now log everything we will type I will exit out of this and page 1000 makes there are no line breaks when we do the show running config so we will get everything without hitting space the whole config at once so let's do that. So that's the whole config. Now it actually has written a log file. So if we grab it and open it up, we can see that it logs everything we are doing. So now we actually have a copy of the configuration of the switch. So let's exit out of this one again. And here is our log file, or actually our backup. If we take a look, we can see that this is the whole config of the switch, and we can see current configuration. Everything below that is actually syntax, so we can just copy that into the switch where if we lose the current config. And the last bottom one is on the prompt. So let's save this one. It's now a nice backup of the switch. Now I'm going to simulate a power outage or a reset. So I will connect to the switch and I will hold 5 seconds with a paper clip in the reset button. This will make a soft reset on the switch and it will boot to the primary image. And now when we log in again so if we log in with the default credentials and my password, we can actually see that if we do a show running config again, show running, we can see that the VLAN 33 is gone. The assignment on the one to 10 interface we're also going there back to VLAN 1. So, oopsie daisy, but 
lucky us or not maybe lucky but we have a backup so how to restore it well it's actually quite simple we open up our log file or our backup file the putty.log we mark everything and just copy it and what you need to do now is just right click well in the config terminal and then you just right click and it will paste everything in here and it will actually do row by row the whole config for us so this is actually it we have now config the switch back to our configuration and if we do a show running config we can see that vlan 33 is back and interface 1 to 10 now our access port for vlan 33 and don't forget to do write memory this time so this will just take a while and now the config is saved even if another power outage is on our way hope you learned something and see you next time bye bye guys